thank you for joining me today. I am Sally Glenn of Saved by Grace Ministries. I teach how to live in victory. And once you get a hold of this concept, it can be life-changing for you. The title of my message this time is, It is Finished. These are the words which Jesus spoke from the cross. And these are among the most important words in the entire Bible, if not the most important words. So what then? What is it that was finished? Let's ask this question. His sacrifice, his once and for all eternal sacrifice for the souls of men. His sacrifice is a finished work. With the crucifixion of Jesus, the exorbitant price was fully paid for our justification, our salvation. Praise God forever. Scripture references Romans 3.26 and Romans 5.18. With his sacrifice, all the requirements were forever met to purchase back what was lost with the fall of man. Your scripture reference, Hebrews 7, 27. Furthermore, we now have access to heaven and the covenant rights which he has purchased for us. Point number one. Point number two. Reconciliation to Father God through the blood of Jesus. Number three. Righteousness, justification, salvation, and sanctification all through Jesus. Oh, hallelujah and amen. Hebrews 10, 14 says, He has made perfect forever all those who are being made holy. One sacrifice was all that it took, but oh, what a sacrifice. God sent himself personified as Jesus. Jesus was God in the flesh. But at the same time, he was born as man through the virgin birth and was fully human. He met the requirements. Number one, he was fully God. Number two, he was fully man. Number three, he had sinless blood, uncontaminated, undefiled by the fall of man. Number four, he was the perfect sacrifice. Oh, hallelujah. And I say, amen. So again, what is it that was finished? Number one, the power of sin to govern our lives. Number two, the bondage of sin. Number three, those things and all things which are under the law of death. Number four, his sacrifice. 
His sacrifice was forever finished, never more to be required or paid. Oh, hallelujah! Praise God forever for his finished work. It was all for you, all for me, all for the glory of God. The good news is that Jesus arose from the dead and he is alive today where he is seated at the right hand of the Father. There he is praying for us that we might be born again and be free from the bondage of sin. Yet, we must appropriate his finished work in order for these things to be true in our lives. So, let's pray. Father God, I thank you that you sent Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you took on my sin and died in my place that you gave yourself as the perfect sacrifice for my sin. I appropriate your work done on the cross. I thank you. It is forever finished, and it is in your name that I pray. Amen. Please like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel.